afternoon and welcome to another round of grounds episode so a bonus vlog i'm here in sunny tenerife and i've got a big coventry fan introduce yourself my friend afternoon lee boy just met you today absolute quite yeah we're all right sheffield Wednesday in coventry yeah we're both in the same league this year big coventry fan lived here 30 years as we all know three pubs retired nine years ago and i was told to do a bit of uh, youtube in on me football and it's passion just like you now we've met for the first time and we will meet again passion Coventry fan, 55 years, and I love it. So tell me a bit about your channel, obviously Webby Sports Roundup. Well, of course, yeah, Webby Sports Roundup. Um, I was with helping Tim living with MS in Tenerife one Friday, and while he does his nobby's business, which his wife has got MS, and then he said, do you want to come on the show just for a little bit of a talk? I had a little talk, got to talk about football and sports, and people were messaging in, comments, oh, he knows his stuff. Then after he says, you've got to do your own. Oh, no, no. Ah, Dawn, and she went, <laughs> do it. So anyway. As long as it's not going to interrupt doing the work at home, painting, decorating. So yeah. I've started it. I've got over 2,000 um, subscribers in just over a year. It's, and it's just passion. And there's be a cup of coffee every day. And that's all it is. And um, Webby Sports Roundup in sunny Tenerife in my manor and, um, in Kalasovaki. And we talk about football, speedway, horse racing, big horse racing fan, uh, rugby league, rugby union, cricket, whatever, golf. I've got rover reporters they all want to get on the show i've got rover reporters everywhere yeah. and they love it mate they love it so 15 minutes of fame that's it and you you obviously do your lives you do a saturday morning live is that i right? do a saturday morning live 9 30 to 10 30 in laura's and tim does all the graphics and it is phenomenal two or three guests yeah i've got terry my number two who's on this week big he's um was, was he? He's a Cockney Scouser. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he lived just at the road from Upton Park, but he's a big Liverpool fan for his sins. And I've got Simon uh, Gooner, my number three. Yeah. Quality. But I won't forget Chris Todd Tenerife. Yeah. He answers all the phone calls. And I've got my number 99. Yeah, yeah. Foggy. What? Foggy. He does my Facebook page. He's quality. Yeah. Quality. So a good little team around you. There, great, team. Yeah. great team. Great team. Great so, team, mate. Great team. So obviously, we've done the Talking Clubs episodes before. I think this is my third or fourth episode. We just talk about uh, each person's football team. So today, Coventry City. Tell yeah. me why Coventry City. What what made you? Well, very very them? quickly. Uh, when I was a kid, like any kid, TV was Man United, George Best, all the boys. And my mum had an auntie Dolly lived in Coventry. And when I was eleven, we went and watched them play. Uh, Cov Man United, April the eighth, nineteen sixty nine. And I've got the program at my house to prove it. Coventry won 2 1. George Best, Bobby Chotton, Dennis Law, Stepney all played, and that was the day. 55 yeah. years from that day, yeah. I've been a massive Cov fan. Never went to Wembley, ah, went to Wembley, we beat Tottenham, your second <laughs> yeah, team, yeah. 3 2 in the FA Cup final. You haven't had it a bit in my team, <laughs> mate. <laughs> <laughs> we smash you, yeah. That was May the 16th, 1987, great day. Um, but I went to Charity Shield, um, was it a month later, I played Everton, and we lost 1 0, but you can't beat the FA Cup final. No. You know what I mean? It's got so, its history, hasn't it? It's just yeah. done, done It's always there, kid. Yeah. Always there. Always so, there. second question. Favourite ever Coventry season? Favourite ever Coventry season? You know, that, do you know something? That is... Uh, I don't really think I've probably got one. I think, obviously, I think we finished... We did finish sixth in the Prem. It was the first division then, many, many years ago. Um, don't ask me what date it is. I'm getting Alzheimer's with regards to that one. I'm, a lot, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm getting to your dad's age. I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> when he got you into Sheffield Wednesday, my dad never. My dad was a rugby man, loved his rugby right, like yeah, I did. Yeah. I saw a Gloucester boy, yeah. passion. But uh, we finished sixth once year, and uh, that, don't ask me what year. But that was uh, that was probably the best yeah, season. Yeah, favourite. But Coventry winning the FA Cup was probably the best season, wasn't it? Yep. Now this is a big question: standout moment, game, goal. That you. You'll well, listen. Never I've just I've just said it. I was there on that day, FA Cup final, and uh, Keith Ocean diving header. Uh, made it one all after Clive Allen scored in the first minute. I thought, oh, here we go. We get to the final and we're not going to win. He did a diving aid, header. Absolutely, everybody knows that. I've got a photo in my house as well. Uh, Dave Bennett got the second one and Lloyd McGrath uh, got the third one over Gary Mubbett's feet over Ray Clements to win 3 yeah. 2. Uh, phenomenal. Yeah. Just, I don't think you can beat it. No. There probably is one or two other goals. Um, I'll tell you another one very quickly. I went to see Coventry Everton on a Sunday. We beat them three 0 on Sky TV, and I was lucky with a good friend of mine who worked for Sky Sports then, and I got 
into the ground, which I did anyway with players. And um, Frogger scored the goal of the season, left foot outside the box. Right, and I remember yeah, yeah. shouting, saying, hit it, he did, scored it. That yeah. was one that always springs to mind as well. Yeah, you always have that standout moment. Yeah, you, you do. Yes, you do, mate. Mind. Yes, you do. Um, what does Coventry City Football Club mean to you? Everything. Yeah. Well, they all know. Where I go, they all know, here's the Coventry lad. Yeah, and yeah. This is why you're wearing a, a Gloucester rugby, because yeah. Gloucester rugby is because... Because it's bloody hot here. And, yeah, I, and yeah. I've got to wear... If, if Coventry had vests in one of you, there'd be a hundred Coventry vests yeah. in there. <laughs> and it means everything. I love it. I love it. There's very few of us about. There's another guy, Coventry Rob, lives in the village. Yeah. Um, not as passionate as me. But, uh, yeah. Listen, Sheffield Wednesday Club, when it's your team, you can't change it, can you? No, no, no. It's your team, Ken. Yeah, it's... it's team. I always refer to it. It's, it's a bit like dog shit. You can't get it off your shoe type thing. Don't matter whether we're good, bad. Yeah. Um, you'll always support. Yeah, um, yeah, for sure. Um, sometimes I always blame my daddy for having a bad season, or just like, why did you let me support this team? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but good or bad doesn't matter, kid. Yeah. You know, you still got to support. That's the loyal support, isn't it? That's it. When and you're I'm... losing three nil at home in front of ten thousand, exactly. and it's pissing down with rain, yeah. and you should be beating these four now, and you're thinking, why am I here? <laughs> yeah. But you stay to the end, don't you? That's it. And That's you can always team. appreciate the good times when you, because you've been there through exactly. the bad. Yeah, yeah. And Coventry, you've had your bad obviously oh, with oh, the financial. Oh, oh. Financial issue. with Gordon's. Oh, I could listen. We've had some discussion with your mum, dad, in the, and Scott, and so forth. And your good lady, Deb, you, you're asking me questions. And you're just looking at me, going, and I'm going, <laughs> yeah. and I'm just telling you, I've got a million stories. Whether they're good, they're all good, but they can be boring sometimes because. But as long as I give a bit of effort into That's it, it mate. Uh, yeah, yeah. and it's, listen, I've got some great stories. One day we'll do that. Yeah, yeah, hundred we'll percent, mate. Yeah. Love it, love it. Um, obviously. The season's now finished. Um, on all commentary, um, obviously a great cup run. Unlucky in that semi-final, really unlucky. Oh. How do you think Coventry fared? Obviously not finishing the playoffs. Disappointment I, for you? Very, very disappointed. Obviously, as soon as we lost to the Man United in that semi-final, I think it was all money. That's what we're all talking about. Yeah. They wanted a Man City Man United yeah, yeah, final. Yeah. With three 0 down after 70 minutes, scored three great goals, scored a winner, and it was a toenail. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, everybody got it for me. Um, uh, it was just one of the, then from then it just went down down yeah, real bad. Yeah. We were not saying we were good enough to be top two, top three, probably not. We were there or thereabouts. Yeah. We one or two others like your Prestons, North Ends are always there or thereabouts. But at the end of the day, but this year got a new owner. It's been here two or three years. King Doug King. Um, Still got Gordon Strachan. Yeah. I've heard today that his number two, Aiden Vivash, who we came from Chelsea, he's leaving the club this year. Right. Don't know why. That's a new one to me. He's the one that got a lot of the Chelsea players. The yeah, other yeah, like Matteson yeah. now, who's gone to Villa for, for 20, yeah, 30 yeah. odd 30 You mean million. Mark Robbins, didn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mark Robbins, yeah. I beg your pardon. Yeah. Absolute legend. When he yeah. kept Alex Ferguson, as we all know, in a job when they he scored yeah, yeah. the winner uh, yeah. or the closer against uh, Nottingham Forest. Yeah, uh, I found manager-wise, he's always had good jobs and he's always done well. I yeah, think I've, he's been at Rotherham and he did really well there. He went away. He went to Huddersfield. That's it. And yeah, then yeah, he came yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. And then he came, didn't do it yeah. there. There was no money, nothing. Yeah. He came back to club yeah. and he says, "This year we've got two or three new players. We've got the guy. I think Rudini. I think his name is." Uh, from Huddersfield, yeah. uh, five million. He's yeah. like a Callum O'Hare. Yeah. You say you you would love Callum O'Hare. Yeah. Oh, the man's different, yeah. different, different gravy. Yeah, I think I watched him against Leeds, and he was their standout player. Obviously, Huddersfield went down, but he will one. Yeah, yeah, that really. So we've got him, and also we've got your two big boys up front. Uh, place for American uh, Ellis, who we got from Everton Freight. We want um, uh, what's his name? God, he's, he's scored all our goals for us. I'll think of it in two seconds. Uh, Victor Jokovic, we yeah, bought him yeah. from Dar from Brighton for one one point two million, yeah. and now he went to um, Sport in Lisbon yeah, yeah. for uh, about twenty two million in total. Yeah. But if we've got 10 50 percent sell on clause, right. we want Arsenal to get him. Looks if they yeah, are, yeah. if they do, we're going to have ten yeah. to fifteen million in the bank. Yeah. He is quality, yeah. absolute quality. Yeah, he really good. Player to be watched, mate. Seems to have gone on because obviously it's a big move. Obviously, commentary in the Championship to go. And play European top, football. Top goal scorer. Yeah, yeah. Forty goals. Yeah. Everything. Phenomenal. Phenomenal player. Phenomenal player. And then we're looking next to next season. Obviously, Coventry. You've said you've signed some some good quality when players. One of young lads. And we got. What, what do you What do you foresee for the future? <sighs> well, I think I think we've got the management in um, in place. The ground is in place. Um, obviously, Mike. And Ashley, you own that now? No. No. Mike Ashley bought it for a very very cheap um, cheap amount of money. I won't say what. 
um, because Woff's Rugby Union Club were there as well, yeah. and that went it. So, so then Mike Ashley came in, bought the ground, we pay rent, but it's obviously a good deal that's going on. It's a cracking ground to go and watch a game. Yeah, I need to go there next season. It is absolutely 33,000, yeah. uh, 34,000 come back, and it is. We have Singer's Corner. Yeah, great yeah, atmosphere. You yeah. speak to a lot of the players in the championship that have played there, and they say it's one of the best grounds yeah, to go yeah. to. With the, the with the, the amount of noise yeah. and support and everything, it's yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Covered Coventry quite a lot from my channel, but they're uh, away. Uh, obviously, they come to Hillsborough, and I yeah. think I, co I can't remember where I covered them elsewhere. But really good fan base, I'll loud. Give, um, I'll, give, I'll give you a fact that you don't know. Not many people know. Man United, the most supporters that have been to Old Trafford as an official game right. is Coventry. Right. We beat them in the um, League Cup, was it last 16? Michael Miffs uh, from Malta yeah, scored yeah, two, yeah. and we beat them 2 0 at Old Trafford. Yeah, for and we took 11,000 fans wow. there. The only club that's ever taken any more to um, to Old Trafford is Celtic in a testimonial. I think they took 13 plus. But as an official football match, Coventry has taken more support wow. to Old Trafford than any other game. Fact, yeah. Sky Blue Army. I bet that was a noisy occasion for the Old uh, Trafford. I remember, I remember, I was in the, I was in the pub. I had my, in my last pub, um, Royal Famous Garden Bar. Um, I don't think the, the game wasn't um, being shown live, and it kept coming up um, on the TV. And um, the gen, uh, ex um, my, my United centre half, Steve Gordon McQueen, he was yeah, commentating yeah. on it. Yeah. And he looked like Michael Misford play super, and we beat him two 0 yeah. Great day. Yeah, Great yeah. day, mate. I remember it. Yeah. Great day. Um, obviously, next season, league position, where do you foresee I th um, Coventry? I think we've got to be playoffs. He's, he's putting his money where his mouth is, yeah. uh, this new man, Doug King. Well, he's been there a couple of years now, he's got it all settled. Mark Robbins, obviously, he's staying. Um, we were unlucky last year, we said, with Sakamoto coming back after a bit of injury. We've got this young lad, a uh, coloured fella from um, Peterborough. We bought him. Yeah, Clark. Um, yeah. Double barrel name. Yes, it is. It? Do yeah. yeah. Clark Mason. That's it. Mason and he looks, Clark, he, look, he, is, you, yeah. he looks half decent. Yeah, yeah, he's really good. Yeah. Um, Two footed player. Yeah. Did he stay on loan then? He must have done. Yeah, he stayed there. Yeah, yeah. He so he'll be, he'll be a really so we, good. So we've addition. got him. And we got Lewis Binks, who we had on loan from, um, from uh, where was he from? From Italy. Uh, I think of Turin. I think it could have been Turin. Anyway, so he went on loan. He was on loan to us. Went back to them. And now he's come back. Yeah. And, um, and we bought him for now for, um, for, two, for, two, for two million. Yeah, yeah voting for two million. Well, good, yeah. yeah, good signing. Yeah, I'd, signing. I'd definitely see Coventry yeah, top six. Yeah, um, hope so. In a tough division. Oh, championships hard. relentless, isn't it? And they're you know relentless. the playoff. The playoffs is the uh, the biggest money earner in the world. Yeah, that yeah. playoffs, isn't it? Yeah. If you get into the prem, yeah, is that like two hundred million? Two hundred million. Yeah, yeah. unbelievable. unbelievable. It? And it's a really exciting league for me. It's a, my favourite league over the Premier League. Do you know something? That amount of money—it's only five pound behind your dad's bank balance. How <laughs> with, with, with your mum's name on it. <laughs> <laughs> right, quick fire five. So yeah. I always enjoy doing these. Okay, so yeah. quick answers. Do you know I've never known you. Yeah, go on. Yeah. So we're going to have quick fire five. First question: favourite footy scrum. So when you go to e games, obviously you've lived here for a while. What would yeah. you be your go-to? What 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 would I eat? Yeah. Scram. Oh, scram. scram is in food. Yeah, food. Oh, it's got to be. It's got to be um, burger with onions. Yeah, onions. Burger with onions. yeah, onions. Yeah. Yeah. Old yeah. school. Old school yeah, burger yeah. and onions in a bath. Favorite ever Coventry player. Dion Dublin. Yeah, class one here. Yeah. I've I've it's met him a few times. Have you? I'll tell you. Let me let me give you. A, can yeah, I do yeah. a quick story? Of course you can, mate. Yeah. Um, I used to I used to know he's passed away now. A gentleman called Ray Matz. R A Y M A W T S. He but I had my second pub called Webby's. Yeah. And the day I sold that is when we beat Aston Villa 4-2 at Villa Park. And George Boateng scored. And um, the Australian, John Aloisi, scored too. Left-footed. Yeah. So that's the memory. I ain't yeah, gone yeah, Alzheimer's yeah, yet. Yeah. Yeah. And um, Ray Matt had an apartment, good friends with Ron Atkinson. And he was a West Bromwich Albion man. Yeah. And he was also the Daily Mail uh, reporter for West Bromwich Albion and... The motor races. So when you when you they went off to France or yeah, they go yeah. to Barcelona, he would go for the Daily Mail. Right. That's one. Now, with regards to Ray Matz, he says to me one day, uh, he come to me pub. He was just living in the back. Yeah. And he and when they used to go to West Brom, he was the man on the coach years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. You'd have a report yeah, on the coach, yeah, yeah. and it was him. So he says. So we got talking, and he says to me, um, 
you when you're back in England, are you out this sort of time of the year? I think it's November, I think it was. I can't remember now. Anyway, the long story short, he says, um, you can come with me. You can be my guest. Yeah. I says, you what? And I've got the programme to, to prove it. And he says, uh, you can come with me to the Midlands Player of the Year Awards, the Strathallan Hotel, Hagley Road. Yeah. You know something, it just goes, it falls off, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. So I went there. So I sat at my table and I've got, who have I got? I've got Brian Little next to me, ex Aston Villa manager. Um, I've got Ray Matz here on the table. Looking to the left, I've got Leicester City with Martin O'Neill and uh, Walsh, the big number five centre half. On the main table, there was McGinty, who was the chairman of Coventry at the time. There was a um, Warsaw player, oh God, um, I'll think of it in a minute, who was under 21's uh, Midlands Player of the Year, Year Award. And Dion Dublin, was there yeah he never saw me and don't forget he was in my pub like a month or two before yeah yeah, yeah it must have been may it must yeah. have been may it was was may yeah and i went up to him tapped him on the shoulder and he just looked straight around and he says webby what are you doing here <laughs> seriously because i was only with him a month ago yeah yeah so and that was phenomenal ray graydon yeah ray graydon uh little guy i think he was at walsh and i'll tell you he was the under 21 um, Midlands Player of the Year Award. Um, Aston Villa, England, on TV all the time. Little short guy. I met him at Birmingham Airport as well when he was playing for... Um, was it Sheffield United? Alan Wright. No, no. Oh, dearie, you know what? I can't get a name. Yeah, I've yeah. Got, I've done well so far today, don't I? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I'll think of a minute and you'll go on Webby. Um, I'll think, anyway, so he was the under-21 player of the season. I think Dion was the under... was the uh, Midlands Player of the Year Award. But I met him all. I had photographs yeah, with him. Yeah. Uh, West Brom and Jarvis, your manager. I can see him now. That's 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 another great story. Yeah, I forget yeah. that sometimes. Yeah, yeah. You always so, look back, don't you? What, what was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> I hope I'm not boring your uh, your clients. No, out. they'll love it. They'll love a good story. Uh, they'll love a good story. All, listen, a few when, Coventry fans on here as well, so they'll. When love I that. tell you a story, it is the gospel truth. Yeah, yeah. I don't bullshit yeah, anything. Yeah. Everything, whatever comes up my mouth. Might get some bullshit with Denver Pub. I've a few, yeah. bottles, a few bottles of wine again. But um, yeah, I love it. Love next, it. next quick fire. Okay. So you've done this for me. Favorite away ground that you've been to as a Coventry fan? Favorite away ground. Cool, bloody hell. Um, went to Wolverhampton Wanderers. That was half decent. Um, do you know there's, there's there's a few to be honest with you. Um, I, I quite like the Wolverhampton Wanderers because yeah. I, th I thought we had a good crowd there. Yeah. Uh, to be honest with you, nice bit of Bristol, derby, isn't Bristol, it as well. yeah, bit of a derby. Bristol City. Yeah, yeah. Bristol City. I went to QPR once many many years ago. Yeah, yeah. There was probably only that was probably thirty years, ago, probably only about fifty yeah, of us yeah. there. But, uh, <laughs> really? Bristol, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was when we were a poor side. We were there. Yeah. But yeah, it could be Wolves. It could be Bristol City. That was that was a good that was a good yeah, way yeah. day. And then best away fans to come to obviously. It, okay. it can be the, obviously. Have you been to it recently? Um, I did, yeah, last year I did. Obviously, I filled road. Yeah, well, I filled road was the best. Yeah, um, the two games when I when I first passed when I was a young kid, I used to have a motorbike, and I used to go on my motorbike up to Coventry from Gloucester, and the two teams that I always wanted and I respected with this with the, the supporters and the fans yeah. was always my United and Newcastle. Yeah, yeah. Good they fun. all, yeah, they they always, always, and I remember going to a Man City game, but behind the goal, Main Road, no, go to Coventry, Highfield Road, right, go to yeah, Highfield yeah, Road, yeah, yeah. and behind the goal, uh, we had like two thirds behind the goal, and they had a third, yeah. and there was police, obviously cover it all, obviously down there, and I remember Matt, it was nil nil, Man City, don't ask me what year, Man City um, scored about ten minutes ago, and I went. I was a bit of a lad then, years and years ago, as you probably think. And I'm, yeah, a bit of a nice boy. And, then, and I remember jumping, and the policeman, and I remember him jumping over to grab me or whatever. No, seriously, and I knocked, his, I knocked his arm, knocked his arm, and I ducked down with all the fans. All, all three of us. <laughs> uh, that was, that, yeah, that was, that was Man City, but no, I'm not the big Man City lover of the world with all their money and so forth. But uh, no, Man, Man United in Newcastle. Yeah, yeah. And they're, they're good. I like Newcastle yeah. fans. And uh, Sunderland fans are good as well. Yeah, yeah. And the last quick fire, if one player that you could sign from the past in the co for the current Coventry team. From the past? Yeah. Oh, listen, listen. You know, when we say Messi and Ronaldo, oh, bloody no. Uh, um, no, Coventry, past Coventry player. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. so, so a past Coventry player, to play for Coventry at this moment in time. Dublin. 
as your favourite ever. Oh, Dion Dubbin. Do you know we had Gary McAllister, I've met him. Uh, no Whelan. Yeah, I met Noel yeah. Whelan. Oh, what a cracking player he was. He was going to be the new Alan Shearer. Yeah. They so said. did he? Did you sign him from Leeds or did he go to Leeds after you? No Whelan. I'm trying, I'm trying to think. I can't think where it was before or after. I think he went to Leeds, you after. Uh, Leeds after, I yeah. think. But he was. I met him, yeah, I met him. And I'll tell you what, I remember talking to him. I used to get in the players' lanes because obviously yeah, I met yeah. Gordon Strachan. I yeah. used to work on the radio here, as I told you before, off air. And I always go play and um, get me ticket in the players' lanes, have, have a lunch and a, and a bit of din dins and a, and a drink in that. And. Um, Oh, I used to love, and I always remember asking Noel Whelan about Darren Huckabee. Yeah, yeah. Remember Darren Huckabee? Yeah, you remember him. Yeah, yeah. remember him, yeah. yeah. He scored that goal at Liverpool, um, and we, I think we were 2 1 down. He scored, he scored the last goal, and we beat him 3 2. He went left, right, left, right. Yeah, scored. Yeah. Phenomenal, phenomenal. And I said to him, I said, What's about Darren Huckabee? He says, Webby, never forget. He said, He's brilliant. But he's got nothing upstairs. <laughs> a bit dim upstairs. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he just threw that down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's not there. He's not there. And that's the gospel <laughs> truth. As, as I sit here now, he said, "Rev, he's that pretty. He's got nothing upstairs." Ah, oh, brilliant. That was Darren Huckabee. <laughs> but there was, there was yeah, there was a few not few players. I just trying to remember. Gary McAllister, you take the call. Oh, Peter Unlove. Yeah, really good. Nudie. Yeah, yeah. Zimbabwe. First, Zimbabwe. first um, African player to play in the Premiership, I believe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He had a brother that was better, supposedly. Was he? Uh, they, yeah, um, who got him was... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I'll think in a minute. He bought him and he tried to get the other... And the brother was even a better player. Yeah. But when you had Gary McAllister taking the corners, flicking them on with, obviously, uh, Dion Dublin, Huckabee and all them. Robbie Keane back in his day. Robbie Keane. Oh, and Craig Bellamy. Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. Craig Bellamy as yeah, well. Yeah. Rob, Robbie Keane, oh. Yeah, unbelievable. He, um, I'll, t- I'll tell you a story about uh, Robbie Keane. Um, and he did go to Leeds after you, didn't he? Sold him for six million. Yeah. Um, Gordon Strachan was, um, he, had, he had some sort of health issue. And he told me he was in bed in hospital, um, I think with McGinty, whoever was chairman then, yeah. and went. You know, the bought him or sold him, I can't remember. I think he bought him. I, I can't remember off, off head. And he went to his bed and he said, listen, he's either, we've either bought Robbie Keane for six million, or we've sold him. I think it was when he, we bought him. I think. Yeah. And that was Robbie Keane. What yeah, a player he good, was. Good player. Good, oh. good player. Have you have you got three errors on this or what? <laughs> no, we'll wrap it up now. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's it. Um, Is that class enough for you? Class enough. Yeah, I love talking. Uh, obviously, teams, football, uh, clubs, and great yeah. to have you on, mate. Oh. Um, Webby Sports Roundup. Please Brilliant. go out and subscribe yeah, to him. It, he does it. all these content here in Tenerife, but he covers it really, really well. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm a he's... dinosaur. I ain't got a Scooby-Doo about this. I just get in front of the camera and I just talk. I really do. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's just class. We love it. We, we can't not do it, can we? No, no. It's, it's, it's just, what we do. This is passion. And, uh, and like you've got to so. make sure you've subscribed to this man even more. All right? <laughs> and you like it as well. That little yeah. like button. Get it to Google. Let it go all over the world. The Coventry fans will be loving you. And oh, they better. Be they better, I tell yeah, you. Yeah. Oh, I we get one or two, eh? Got a few on my channel. Have and they've given me some stick for beating Sheffield Wednesday last season three times. <laughs> There's only one team in the championship. <laughs> top man. It. Go and subscribe to yeah. him. Top, top man. And uh, what a better way to uh, oh. end the vlog. Should we show him the view, mate? Please do. Yeah. See you all, everyone. See you later. Look at this review. Over the shoulder. I'm still getting used to these gimbals. There we go. Up, oh, down. Look at that for a view. So ending this vlog, check out Webby. Great channel. Drop a subscribe if you're new around here. Coventry City fans, comment down below if you uh, want to get involved in these uh, questions and gear answers. Thank you for everyone for watching. I'm off to get a cheeky cerveza and uh, yeah, enjoy this sun. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you on another one. Check out Webby Sports Roundup. See you later, everyone.